Hi right, guys, it's Khalif, Fat Guy Skinny Wallet. It's Monday morning. Uh, I think it's the 17th of December. And I just finished doing um, my push day with my uh, weight training. And then I did 50 minutes of cardio. I did Tybo with this uh, weighted vest on. So I feel great right now. Um, so yeah, I'm still, still trying to get into a good routine with the weights. I mean, today was the first official day. Um, since I'm only using dumbbells, it's a little harder. Um, so if you guys are looking for a Christmas gift for me, I need a straight bar, I need an easy curl bar, and I need some uh, I need some weight plates. So if you guys want to uh, get any of that for me, just let me know. All right. Oh, and by the way, I need a squat rack too. But um, you know, y'all can y'all can wait a little while for that. But these dumbbell squats are are gonna kill me. Um, so yeah, squat rack would be nice too. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna go hit the shower, come back, do my way in, and we'll see what the scale has to say. All right, talk to you later. All right, guys. I'm back. It's like lunchtime right now, and um, I just decided to come out in my car and make a quick video. Uh, so y'all might see me looking around a lot, cause you know I get paranoid when I see uh, people. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. My um, weight, my weight this time, as you can see, was 233.4. So last week it was 236.2. So that means that I had a 2.8 pound drop. Um, I'm happy about the drop. Um, I did work hard. I have to say, I, I put in a lot of work with my, you know, my workouts and everything, and I did much better with my eating. I was tracking my eating. Uh, it still wasn't perfect. You know, still had a couple of times where, you know, where I slipped or I could have made better choices and uh, didn't. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I've been trying to track all my calories and trying to track my macros, trying to make sure I bring my uh, carbs down and bring my uh, protein and fat up. So, um, you know, which is really hard because for me, it, it's hard to get the protein because I, one, I don't eat enough Um like, you know, meats and things, so I eat a lot of eggs, I eat tuna, I eat chicken. So, with that, you know, that's how I'm getting my protein. Of course, I usually take a protein shake. So, I'm getting about 115 grams of protein a day or something like that, which to, for me is low, especially since I just started doing the weight training. And I plan to go really hard with the, weight, with the weights, and as soon as I get into a routine, and as soon as my body, my joints, everything gets used to the different uh, motions, especially because I'm just using dumbbells on my floor, um, then then I can increase the weights, and that's what I plan on doing. So once I do that, I definitely uh, want to make sure I'm getting in enough protein. Um, some of the recommendations I've seen are can go up to a pound per a pound of uh, body weight. Some say lean body uh, weight, and then some will say a kilogram per pound that you weigh. So you know, for me, if I take a pound for my body weight, then we're looking at 233 uh, grams. Um, you know, one gram per pound, 233 grams. So, I'm not coming closer. I'm about 100 grams short. But it's hard to get all of that in. And then most of the, the most of my diet would just be made up of, uh, of fats and then of vegetables. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at with my eating. Um... And, and so with my workouts, I'm doing the cardio and I'm doing uh, the weights now. And I got in a run on Saturday. I went three, I think it was 3.3 .3 miles in like 39 minutes, which uh, which was actually a little bit better than what I did down in Florida when I ran that uh, 5K on Thanksgiving. But it still wasn't, um, it still it's a little bit slower than what I was doing before. But I haven't been able to run consistently in a while. It's gotten so cold and my legs are beginning to itch and actually become real painful. My eight, my legs and my lower torso. So I haven't really been able to do that. Um, don't really have any other updates. Tomorrow, look for another uh, weigh-in video. I think we'll put it up tomorrow, but you know... Or you may know because I've said it in, in a video and even in a, a blog post that Julie and I just did a quick challenge for the last week. Um, we're actually weighing in for that tomorrow. So you, if you already saw her weigh in, you know she had to maintain for this week. Um, and I had a loss. But that doesn't mean anything because I know she is going to 
beat her body up today. Like I know she is. So I know I still have to put in work and make sure that I don't slip because we're doing it on percentage. We're not doing it on pounds. And she's 80 pounds lighter than me or, you know, 75 pounds lighter than me. So uh, she doesn't have to lose as many pounds in order to beat me in this challenge. So that that will happen tomorrow. And then we're going to do something big for January. Um, we haven't figured it out yet, but we're going to do something. It's a lot easier because we're writing on the same site now that she's consistently writing from on, on my site. So it's a lot easier to try to coordinate these things. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Oh, I just put another one of her um, her uh, articles up, and I really think you should check it out. Um, you know, I loved all of her articles, but this one is a great article because everybody can relate to this. Actually, there's been a couple like that, but everyone can relate to that. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. One thing I do want to say about this journey, about what I'm about now, is my wife is so motivated. Um, there's a number of things going on with her, with her health that inhibit her from being able to work out. Um, so everything with her has to be diet. So it's going to be a lot slower, but she is still really motivated and we're doing this together. And that has been the biggest, uh, push for me is really doing it alongside my wife. And it's just so great to not only have her support, but just have us doing this together. We're still bad at holding each other accountable though because if I want something bad and I mention it to her hoping that she'll kind of um sorry I'm just going to switch the the angle here some because I'm holding this up because I'm in her truck rather than my car so um if if I see that I'm going to struggle and I go to her and I say hey I I'm struggling right now uh, I want to go to Moe's or uh, I want to get that thing, that dessert from Hula Hands or something like that. Instead of her saying no, when I say that, it triggers her. And she's like, wow, we haven't had that in a while. See, we like the same thing. So it's hard because, and the same thing with me. If she says, well, I want to eat out. My first thought is, wow, if you eat out, then I'll be justified in getting something to eat. And I can eat out too. And maybe I can go get some pizza because I rarely ever get, I get pizza like once every two months now. Uh, because I know that I need to stay away from it for the most part. So that's the only thing is it's hard for us to hold each other accountable because we like the same things. So it's, you know, she comes to me and she says, I want to get Chinese food. Then I'm going to well, Chinese food is disgusting and gross. It's just a big box of, of grease and, and cat. So, no, I don't want Chinese food. So it's easy to say, no, eat what's in there. But if she says she wants something that I like, yeah, you know I'm falling for it. So... Anyway, it's been a lot better us being on the same page with this. I mean, she's always been pushing, but she's just got this extra charge now in her. So it's been really good. She'll come on, I don't know if this week, but she'll come on and do do a video and talk about it. So I don't want to tell you everything that's going on with her and kind of steal her thunder. So um, that's, that's it for me. Uh, make sure you check out the Fat Guy uh, Fitness Faves. I put up seven videos so far, and I just want to say that I, I just really appreciate all of you guys supporting uh, these people. There's a link to it below. I really, like I said, I really do appreciate it. I, I'm being serious here because, you know, you guys are not only supporting them, but you're supporting me by going to them and saying, hey, Khalif sent me, and, you know, going to check these people out. I want you guys to support them, and I want you guys to be inspired and encouraged by them. So I appreciate you guys doing that. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys next time and hope you have a good day.